Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata 2014 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Jack Norris. Jack, how you doing? Good. Good how to see you, you again. Good. So you're the CMO at MapR. Yes. Yes. And um, you have said, or people have said recently, that Hadoop is here. It's established. And now the real cool stuff is all the innovation around that Hadoop ecosystem. Do you see that same thing? Or is there is there something we're missing here? Or is that really where the... No, the, I mean, it, basically Hadoop, is at the center of big data. It's uh, it's really changing what people can do with data, both from uh, a flexibility and analytic and, and basic cost standpoint. And to really take advantage of the broadest set of applications, there's some innovation that's required along with uh, some of the efforts of the open source community. And so, how is MapR building out your ecosystem? So, I mean, we're, First of all, we're members of the, the community and we contribute in open source. Um, secondly, we've looked at what we can do at the underlying data platform and have a differentiated data platform to really ro raise the boats of, of all the open source packages. So things like enterprise grade, and data protection, uh, interoperability, how existing uh, applications and, and tools can work more easily with the platform, security, operational analytics, uh, things that really help organizations meet some of the real-time requirements that they have in their in their applications. Can we unpack security a little bit? Because sure. there, there's kind of two types of security. One is protecting yourself from a threat, and the other is like uh, if something goes wrong, you have a backup or that sort of thing. Is this what snapshots enables, the, the MapR snapshots? Yeah, if, you know, security, there's about authentication you know, yep. making sure that you give access to the right people. people yeah. And then there's how do you how do you ensure that, encrypt it, make sure that no one can be spoofing that. So there's a whole series of uh, Kerberos capabilities and certificate authentication that we have as, as part of the platform. And then there's the, well, how do you ensure that the, the data is there and protected? And there's where there's a host of features for disaster recovery as well as data protection. Snapshots is a key feature there where you have a point in time consistency across the cluster. So I'm going to take a snapshot, all that data I can have a rollback point uh, to restore in case of uh, some corruption or some, some user error. And what's, what's important there is you do that without increasing the data footprint and you do it in a way that's completely consistent. And that's what we've invested in the lower level architecture to make that just part of the platform. There's some issues with doing it uh, in other methods that actually uh, aren't consistent. So if you have files that are open and with the HDFS file system and it's a pen system, you take a snapshot and you get a certain point with all the closed files and then it's variable depending on when a file is closed as to what's there. So it's a, it's a fuzzy snapshot is how people in the community have described it. Excellent. So, you know, in your, your work with your customers and your, your partners and clients and all that, is there a job or a position or a type of person that should be using data science tools but is not right now? Is, is there a laggard in this, in this world of big data? That's a, that's a, that's a great question. Um, you know, what we've seen is that uh, it, it can be different applications that drive the first kind of instance of Hadoop, but it grows really quickly within an organization with different groups and different applications kind of growing on that. Uh, some of it's just the the presence of the data. So we worked with the bank and um, they were doing a fraud detection and pretty soon the marketing department is coming over, you've got the data that we've need, needed for quite a, quite a, quite a yeah. long time. Yeah, yeah. So we see a lot of kind of organic um, uh, growth. Uh, I think one of the, the misconceptions is that you need a, a deep data scientist bench uh, before you pursue Hadoop. And there's many applications such as data warehouse offload or mainframe offload where the the, the starting point there is, I just want a platform where I can take some of the data, expand what's there, and do it in a much more cost-effective manner. And what you end up with is a, is a data lake or an, an enterprise data hub that allows you to do much more with the data and expand its use. So I've asked you before about if we had a problem in the world to solve uh, with data, what would it be? Do you have any uh, changes or views on that question or any use cases or yeah. yeah, I remember you asked me that uh, in New York, and and, uh, and we've got a, a couple great customer examples. Um, Climate Corporation was on a panel uh, here at the show. They spoke yesterday, and they shared how they're using Hadoop, specifically uh, MapR, 
to better understand weather patterns and to take information for detailed uh, agricultural um, fields and locations to help uh, farmers worldwide better manage risk and better yeah. um, improve their operations. So Sounds it's basically like part of you know how do we feel the uh, how do we feed the world. Sounds and like California could use that this oh, year. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's really interesting. And with the with the changing climate going on, the ability to do insurance products to protect farmers is is really extraordinary. And then the second example is the Aadhaar project, which is the largest biometric database in the world. Uh, and they're using it to really reduce the amount of leakage uh, from government aid to increase economic mobility and to help residents because there's no social security card. It's very hard to identify who you are and, and eliminate the, the risk of, of fraud. And yeah. now with fingerprints and retina scans, they're much able to, or easier to do that and um, they're pursuing the ability to make it very, very easy to open a bank account uh, obtain a cell phone, um, receive government aid. Excellent. So, if we talk in New York, and that's I think about six to eight months from now at Strata Hadoop World in New York, um, what would the diff be in our conversation from now to then? Because this this world and this market, especially, is changing so quickly. What will MapR be up to in six to eight months from now in New York? Well, the. The, the number of kind of production use cases, um, the, the types of, of customers that are, are adopting Hadoop and really expanding its use has just has been exponential. And um, so I think the major change will be, um, be really the perception of what's going on with Hadoop and what's possible. Um, we've heard a lot of people saying, well, there's still experimentation going on and people aren't really sure about Hadoop and, and where to deploy it. And the reality that we're seeing from our end and through our customers' eyes is just much, much different where uh, the size of, of transactions, the rate uh, of which they're doing things. And it's, you know, to generalize somewhat, the, the really exciting areas is combining operations with analytics and doing things, taking high arrival rate data and doing analytics quickly and impacting the business in real time, whether it's recommendation engines to help increase sales and upsell and cross-sell, or uh, detecting fraud and, and managing risk, uh, or just improving operations and doing things and in, in understanding failure analytics and preventing that and improving supply chains, et cetera. So it's, it's got an impact on the top line and the bottom line and, and uh, you know, risk and security exposure. It's really exciting. Excellent. Well, Jack, we look forward to seeing you in New York. Thanks, Thank you. Mike.